Good morning. I can't do that. Morning, girls. Did you make it? You all alive? Where's Luna? Oh, yeah. We're all here. Morning. See? It's not that bad. I know. Check it out. Wow. Okay. Wow. Still going. God bless you. Good morning to you. Luna, what are you doing? 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 Unfortunately, I don't think the seedlings survived, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Lettuce did not survive. Kale did not survive. But that's okay. We're going to keep on keeping on. Hey everyone, good morning, welcome back. We are doing a little day in the life and I'm starting off here just trying to get myself put together for the day. I've been like getting up and immediately changing my clothes and I know that may sound silly to some of you. Why wouldn't you do that? But I haven't done that. I've kind of just stayed in my comfy clothes until I got ready to get dressed for the day. So I've been doing that and it's just been making a world of difference. So I am dressed for the day and now I'm doing some skincare. We had breakfast, took care of the chickens. Amelia's down for a nap and Delilah is right next to me here. Wilder is supposed to be cleaning up. We will see if that happens. So I wanted to jump on here and do my skincare and kind of chat with you. Uh, we're definitely doing another real day in the life because you guys really like that and it just, makes me feel good um as you know you know i started youtube five years ago and i followed a bunch of women that are just i mean i still listen to them i still um you know watch their videos but i um i can't relate to them anymore i can't really connect with them and who knows what the future holds if i ever you know make a x amount of money. I would hope that it doesn't completely change me. And you know, some of these women, it's just uh, completely changed them. And some in a good way, you know, I'm happy for them, but I don't, uh, I don't relate to them anymore. So I am happy that I have someone to connect to. I get uh, comments often that I am relatable and that's all I've ever wanted to be on this platform. I wanted to find not necessarily like-minded, but people going through a similar experience or people that have gone through this experience of being a stay-at-home mom and just, you know, not being in a, I guess, I don't know, financially like wealthy type of situation. I am very blessed to have what we have and I feel like we're just being realistic with our budget, especially the way the economy is now. So yes, long-winded intro. Hi, hello, if you're new, my name is Tori. I am a newly stay-at-home mom. I used to be an elementary art teacher and it was the bomb until things, you know, started going downhill. So I just cleansed and now I'm doing, are you all right? Yeah. Doing the Seafoam Pacifica Complete Face Wash just to get any extra stuff off. So if I have always put this on a dry face and then I take a washcloth and uh, wipe it off and that's just what works for me. But you can do it whatever way you want, obviously. Okay, I'm back. I'm doing Gua Sha now. So I'm doing the Marula Facial Oil from Trader Joe's. I've had it for a while, but you need some sort of oil to make this uh, glide against the skin because you don't really want to just be pressing it into the skin dry. It's not really safe for your fragile face. So I just kind of rub it in and then I push it into the skin. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I've always done it that way. Then I take my Gua Sha and I'll do that really quickly and continue our little chit chat. All 
Okay, we're upstairs now. I don't know where I left off. I'm using the lip mask. Yeah, what I did downstairs was just gua sha. I did a coconut oil pool with charcoal. And then I just did a lip mat, well, not a lip mask. I did a lip exfoliant with that almond oil and coffee grounds. And now I'm gonna use the Sabella, the vitamin C. My camera hasn't been focusing lately. I feel like I'm not doing it right or it's just really bright in here and it doesn't know where to focus on. Here he is. I'm a rescue where you, officer. Where are you going, rescue officer? I'm coming up here to save you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I take it back. I don't want privacy ever. Yeah, uh, I'm I always want to be lotion. saved by you. Oh, I want to go and put lotion on you. Oh, you're going to help me? Well, yeah, I don't... sorry. Oh, okay. So these are non-toxic, so he could totally touch this, but I would prefer him not to, right? All yeah, right. What's so... not touch? Oh, this, this serum. What's a serum? This is serum. I don't know how to explain that one to you. I will, I will look it up and I'll get back to you, okay? Okay. Hmm. All right, uh, this will go on for 30 seconds and then uh, I'm looking for my moisturizer. Here it is. Um, I'm just using the Sue, whatever, Sukin, I think, purely ageless moisturizer. So, yes, I don't really know what we're getting into today. We definitely have gymnastics for this little ninja above me here. Huh? Can we be careful, please? Huh? Huh? Yep, gymnastics today. I'm so me too. It's still very cold though, so I don't know. We're going to do some cold weather things. My husband's car is acting up, so he's going to look at that. But that is just about it. I don't think we have anything on the agenda. Yeah, we're going to take you along with us today. I think that's all really I wanted to chat about. But I've just been feeling off definitely because of that. And my skin, as you can see, is feeling off and um i'm on like day three so i'm not as bloated but i was getting really confused there for a second because um i was getting you know the cramping and the bloating and i get age spots too when my cycle comes around it was just really mimicking something else and i i don't know i didn't panic obviously Mommy? but yeah it, it uh threw me for a loop for a second there and then lo and behold just a cycle Mommy? which is exciting so, um, he's just jumping from the bed to the top. He's my sensory seeker, so I know that may seem alarming to you, but I'm used to it. He's been like this since he's been in the womb, right, buddy? Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to get my face put on, and then I will meet up with you here in a second. If you want a full uh, makeup tutorial, let me know. Typically, e.l.f. products or the wellness box, either. Or I actually found a way to link the wellness box where you can see... Oh, another one! <gasps> Hello! Where you can see... I'm Hello, I know you are. Where you can see um, the products for yourself. I know a lot of you were kind of bummed that you couldn't see the products and you didn't want to sign up for something that you couldn't see. Well, let me know and I will show you the link because I am excited that I found that feature. Um, and I want I want you all to shop the wellness box, honestly, because it's amazing. You don't have to go into the business route of it. But I mean, we've all been looking for non-toxic products and We've been looking for a way to, I guess, like just stop with the conveniency stores. This is a once a month, uh, you know, delivery and I have no trouble meeting the points. You're supposed to have 35 points every single month to maintain your membership status and your prices. And, you know, I am just buying things that we normally buy and they're cheaper. One, two, they're non-toxic and three, I don't have to worry about like forgetting anything because I can put it on an auto ship if I want to. But yeah, if you want that link, let me know and you can see all of the prices and all of the products for yourself because there's just everything. Skincare, household products, there's snacks, supplements, baby products, which is a big one for me. I was struggling to find something that I actually liked ingredients wise um, that smelled good. I know that's uh, silly for me to say that non-scented is typically where we go but sometimes i you know i like to have a good baby product that has some scent and this is scented with essential oils which sometimes can't always be a good thing but uh this company the wellness company's essential oils are 
tested. They're very potent and I just, I, I like where they're coming from. They're actually one of the first ones to come up with an essential oil um, because the company is so old. So yeah, again, if you want uh, the link to see the products, let me know and I can email them to you and we'll go from there. The kids are do being relatively tame. So I'm just going to go over that makeup with you. Uh, I have the e.l.f. hydrating concealer and now I'm going in with the e.l.f. brow pen. Sometimes I like this, sometimes I don't, depending on my hair color. I am using taupe and I just draw on the bottom, just like a soft line. Then I move upright with my strokes. Then it looks really scary and dark when I uh, put it on. And then once I start shaping it and taking away color, as you can see, I just think it just looks better, you know? Yeah. Um, but my original hair color is like an ashy, what does my grandma, my Mimi call it? A uh, mousy brown? Or my aunt, my aunt's a hairdresser, my great aunt, I think she calls it mousy, mousy brown, but yes. Um, that's why I get highlights, so I don't have to mousy brown. But as you can see, it looks scary and unnatural, and then we're just gonna fix it. So I have the e.l.f., so wherever I was, I'm taking the wow brow and going up with this. I believe you can still get this for $5, but e.l.f. has been going up, going up, going up. But yeah, I do that. Then I take away some from the center here, just so it's like a faded, Line. I've never claimed to be a makeup artist. Let me tell you that. Have fun with makeup, but I'm not that good at it. Uh, my sister is very good at it. My younger sister, she has many talents and makeup is one of them. But yes, okay. This is going up, up, up. And then, but I mean, that's, that's pretty much it because I have these faux lashes. So now I'm taking my brush here. And I'm using the Nudes by Maybelline, but I have a palette coming from the wellness company. I'm super excited because it has some colors that complement greenish gray eyes. And that's what my eyes are. They switch from like green to, to gray. So, um, yeah. I pull my eye. I know you're not supposed to do that. Get that base color. And then I get the dark color with the fluffy brush. And I go in the crease. I hope this is okay. I know all of you un get it if you have kids, but I try and make these videos and it is very hard for me to leave them out of it. And you know, part of me doesn't want to. I know I have family members that um, watch this and my husband watches and I don't know. I'm at, I'm at a loss right now. I never show them in a vulner vulnerable state, but this is my life. I can't completely cut them out of it. So if it um, this is distracting for you, I do apologize, but I try my best to have both um, contents. I don't know, I, not contents, I guess like silent content and then this content, but yeah. What I did there was put on my eyeshadow and then I put the eyeliner on the corner just to like bring it all together. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Uh, and then I'm doing a bronzer and this. And I'm going underneath my jawbone. I feel like I've always had pretty like big jawbones, so it hasn't, um, they, they don't need to be defined, but I, I just do it anyways. And I put it everywhere the sun would hit, they say. I go under. I've noticed definitely when I'm getting older, this is like a big thing hormonally and um the back of your neck like that neck knot mine is starting to go away thank goodness because i was seeing that and i couldn't figure it out if it was a posture thing or what i read that happy juice helps with that as well so yeah i'm gonna get the pink cheeks in here and then i'm doing it i'm uh doing a nose chisel <laughs> i go to this side Okay, I don't know what I was saying, but uh, the kids are packing up and heading out. It is uh, very important for a mom to have some time by herself, no matter if it's two or five minutes. Don't ever feel bad about that because, man, I got um, some comments that uh, I haven't 
really recovered from in the past about uh, wanting alone time. And, um, you know, they associate that with not loving your child. And I just, I think that's really sad and such a skewed and flawed uh uh, thought process. Thankfully, that person is no longer here on the channel. But man, I, that's what I wanted to say. I feel like I put up with a lot. I'm definitely a pushover. I've been getting better at it. But I, in the past, I still this day, I really let people kind of say whatever they want and then just go about their day. And oftentimes I've been accused of being defensive, but I, that's when I like reach my breaking point. I was taught by both of my parents to uh, be pleasant and be kind. And I, I agree with a lot of that. Um, being pleasant and being kind is, is very important, you know, but I feel like sometimes I'm just too accommodating, if that makes sense. And, um, I, I'd like to start standing my ground a little more. Not being difficult, but I just uh, I got a question. Yes, I have two nose holes, by the way. So that's why there's two rings going in. But um, yeah, I've always had them and I don't have plans to get rid of them because I like them. So I had my adrenal cocktail and then I switched to water with sea salt and a little bit of lemon juice. Or I do like a splash of grapefruit or some sort of citrus. But yes, that was much needed. Uh, I forget what I was saying. I think... Uh, accommodating. I'm trying my best to start standing my ground and I feel like it's important, um, especially for my girls to see a strong uh, female leader, but um, being feminine and also being pleasant. I just, I feel like that trifecta has been lost. And yes, I think that's all I wanted to say about it. It is a hair wash day if you can't tell and I'm going to do that tonight so I can do the roller curls. I'm not a master at it, but if I'm doing heatless curls, this is the way I like to do it. I did it this way throughout my whole pregnancy, but because it's hair wash day, I can put some cornstarch in my hair if I want, or I can leave it down and then do a headband. So I do headbands a lot just to keep uh, the hair out of my face. And I really love headbands. I didn't used to because I was self-conscious of my ears, but I'm getting better at that. Uh, I think I'm going to stop talking your ear off. I'm dressed. I'm ready for the day. Some things that I want to get done. The stair stepper. And I just want to declutter, declutter, declutter. I know we are all in that, I guess, like post New Year hype of decluttering, but we're moving and I actually need to declutter. I need to get rid of stuff because I don't think we're going to do the whole like huge moving truck to get across the country. I think, you know, we're going to take our cars and a U-Haul and I want to look into shipping pods. If anyone knows anything about that, let me know because when I look it up, I have to like book a sales call with someone and it's just very not the way I shop. Um, and that kind of goes back to the wellness company. When I first uh, heard about it, I had to get on a sales call before I could even see anything in the store and that really bothered me. So I'm really happy I found that little loophole for you. I'm not necessarily sure if I'm supposed to do it this way, but we're going to do it this way because it's very important to me to have transparency when I'm trying to show you something. I'm not trying to sell you you something. I'm just trying to show you how easy it is to kind of like switch if that makes sense. So yeah, back to the moving trucks. I have just been having a really hard time seeing prices or anything. I know it depends on what you have and where you're going. We know that this is going to be a costly move, but once we get there, I feel like we're going to be fine. We are luckily moving to a place that's not as expensive. And uh, I feel that's going to work in our advantage when we're looking for land, when we're looking for not a bigger home, but a home that has a different layout. So our kids could kind of have their own individual rooms. Uh, we have agreed that the girls may have to share a room and that is totally fine. I shared a room with one of my sisters at one of my houses at my dad's house and it was tricky here and there, but it was a small room. So I'm hoping our girls form a bond and they can coexist with each other. Let me know if you have any experience with that in the comments below because we are trying our best. But in this day and age, in 2024, trying to find a home with the needs that we have set out for ourselves um, is very hard, is very tricky. And we are flexible. We are definitely flexible. We're luckily going to a place where we know people. Our whole family is there, so it will be helpful to have them. But I, um, I'm not getting discouraged. I'm just, uh, I'm just approaching this with a more real standpoint. So sorry about the chatty info. I just had to get that all out of me. We are going to get into our day again. Welcome if you're new. I love that you're here. If you want to hit the subscribe button, awesome. If not, that's fine too. But let's get into our day. I 
Daddy. Daddy. Are you saying Dada? We gotta get bundled. Oh, ma'am. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Millie. So, hey, Millie, hey, why? Millie, can yes. you come distract her? Millie, you gotta get. <laughs> God! <laughs> you gotta get in here. You have to, so you're warm. Let's go check the mail. No, you can't do sandals in the snow. You gotta find your boots, Lava. Lava, Lava. A lava. She's a lava. Oh. Ooh. She's so pretty. Look at that girl. I love her. Ooh, I love her. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see it. She's ready to brave the elements, aren't you? Boop, boop, boop. Oh, wow. Hey, I'm quite the diva, aren't I? It, it means that she's got to have it her way, huh? Are you like Mama? Whoa. Whoa. Mama's going to get her boots on, see? Boots for the snow. Why is ready? <laughs> Del, no. Del, you need regular boots, girl. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Here we go. The mail, the mail, the mail. Oh, snap. It's okay. No, it didn't wash off. Someone plowed our sidewalk with the four-wheeler yesterday. Why and I saw it, right, buddy? That's one way to use a four-wheeler. That's why we need one. <laughs> okay, here we are. Let's see the mountain today. We can kind of see Long's Peak up there. Ooh. Making my happy juice, and I have the dragon fruit and grape. So this is the energy plus, no caffeine. And then the Amari Edge is the grape flavored, but you can also get um, what am I thinking of? Uh, watermelon, if you want. But I'm just putting this into a large 32 ounce mason jar, so I can sip on it throughout the day. One second, please. And then you also put the mentabiotics in there. So that's a prebiotic, postbiotic, and a, I don't know how to say the last word. Honestly, when I was first starting out with this, I thought that these words were too like big and I feel I felt like they were intentionally doing it, but it's from a doctor, so that's, that's why he explains it the way that he does. But if you sit in one of the seminars like I did, they, uh, they don't dumb it down, but they explain it in like layman's terms. And I think they have found that that's like a flaw of their, um, not sales system, but information system. So I just do water and then I stir it up just to get the clumps going. And right now for two more days, I believe you can get the free frother if you want to. You can also become a brand partner for free. So I'm going to mix this up. I'm pretty sure I like the grape flavor better than the watermelon, but always changes. One second. Sorry, one was getting away here, but yes, I was saying I, I think I like the grape better than the watermelon, but you can change it up. There's different flavors in there. And sometimes I do just water. Sometimes I do orange juice and coconut water, but I have just been really loving it, as you know. I'm gonna do some ice in this, and this will get me through to gymnastics. I might even take it to gymnastics with me, so we shall see. Come in or out? I'm gonna give it a stir here and blocking somebody, and then uh, we're gonna get to organizing things yeah. in the house. But Millie is very interested. Let me give it a taste. Oh yeah, I really think I like the grape more than the watermelon. All right, so I'm gonna take this. My two goals today were to get the table organized and then on top of the washing machine and then just the usual dishes, laundry, all that. I'm not gonna film that because that is more um, a get it all done type of scenario, but I'll show you the afterwards and I think you could get a little motivated by that uh, declutter and organization. All right, Amelia's down for a nap and my husband took the kids to go get a new battery for the car. We think that's what it is and just 
least the cold maybe triggered it. So he's gonna change that out. And then we do have gymnastics tonight. So I'm hoping they make it back in time, uh, but this is important as well. So I'm gonna do the dishes, I think. I'm gonna get that organization done and I might even do the stair stepper, uh, but I might skip a day because that's what I'm feeling like. I feel like if I move my body every day, it doesn't have to be the stair stepper. I can just move around. Amelia is laughing up there now. So um, I might even just relax and have a bite to eat. I don't really often get a lot of time to myself. So I'm just going to go for it. Why not? You know, the world is my oyster. So my goal right now is to do the dishes though, because it's disgusting. But other than that, I don't really have any plans. So this is exciting. I don't have a plan for this vlog. I don't really do that that often. Okay, so here is lunch. We have some potato wedges. I have some way too much actually, uh, like a honey mustard. And then I have a burger patty from the other night and that's it. That's all I really want to snack on right now. Uh, I do have some spinach and avocado. I was thinking of making like a salad, but I just want something quick and easy so I can move on with my life. I really want to get the table decluttered and on top of the washing machine. So I'm going to enjoy a little lunch by myself. I'll admit it's a bit lonely in here, but that's okay. I'm not sad. I'm not sad. I'm not going to be sad. If I say it in the air, then I won't be. But yeah, as you can see, just it's too, it's too much. It's uh, my husband's stuff. It's too much. So I'm going to get that going after I enjoy my meal. Okay, lunch is done. I'm going to just take this time to do the stair stepper now. Work on my computer. Dishwasher is going and I have my happy juice. And then I will move on to that and then my other chores. I wanna take those flowers away, just do a bunch of stuff. Look at all that junk over there. But yeah, I'm gonna get this done first so it's out of the way, and then I might even just split it in half and do the other thousand steps uh, later tonight while I'm editing. But I'm gonna attempt to edit another video from the other channel so I can get ahead, but that is what I'm doing. So here I am. This is for a video. I don't just have bottles of liquor that I'm sipping on while I'm by myself. But yes, here we go. Knowing it's a risk because you're using it. You've got all your secrets. I can seem to move this thing. You're pulling me out and I'm right back I'm on the sideline where you wanted me. I'm by the byway waiting for your lead. I don't want to fall in love. All right, we are in the car now. My husband fixes his car, we think, right? The battery or something. And we're gonna make it to gymnastics, which is awesome. I remembered the wipes. I didn't even have to say it in the video because last time we brought, or well, we didn't bring any and the wipes were frozen solid in the car because I totally forgot to bring in the diaper bag like I do pretty often. So, oh, you're falling. We have probably a 40 minute drive. I'm not sure yet. How much? 30 minute drive, 20 minute drive. He says 25 maybe. And then, um, yeah, um, but the roads, they don't look the best. Okay. Okay. And then we will catch up with you after gymnastics.
Take a silly face. Hey, your belly. Your belly's hanging out. Your belly's hanging out. I have some dinner happening. We did half of the elk and then we're doing the siete taco seasoning. And then I'm just saving the other half for burgers, but wanted to show you a trick. You probably already know it, but I'm going to show you anyways. But I like to take, where am I at? Okay. Um, a half can of beans or refried beans, whatever I have on hand. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's just been loving sitting there today. I don't know why. Huh? There must be a warm spot in the floor. I love you. One sec. Uh, and then we're doing black beans, and we're going to put that in there, and it just stretches it, makes the meal last longer. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. But we're doing it with some blue corn waffles. The kids always think this is fun. So I just make my regular cornmeal batter, put it in waffle form, then put our taco seasonings on top of it, and then make it into like a, a taco. That's what I'm showing you, a taco. Um <laughs> I'm going to do some onion with it and then uh, avocado, you know, the fixings for tacos. And I'll show you the finished result, okay? So in the dish, I do blue cornmeal, I do an egg, I do flour, salt, and then a little bit of avocado oil. Then I just add a fat. So I just have some whole milk in there until I get it to the desired consistency. And you may be asking yourself, why not just do a pancake? And I'll tell you why. We've tried it all sorts of ways. And we have found that if we do it in a waffle way, the, the waffle tacos, uh, they the ingredients get... Uh, stuck into like the grid of the waffle and you can make fun little waffle sammies so that is why but yeah you could do a pancake if you want I'm just telling you how I do it and we really enjoy these they're super tasty and it's just uh, a good comfort meal for uh it is a waffle buddy uh one second honey um it is a good comfort meal for those chilly days so I will show you the end result all right, here are the kids' plates. I just have a waffle on the bottom, the meat and bean and onion mixture. I have raw cheese on there, a little bit of sour cream and avocado. And they're gonna snack on that and then they'll probably come back for a second. And then I usually do like a plate of apples with cinnamon or pears or something like that, depending on what they want. We might do some homemade applesauce though. So yes, I'm going to enjoy this and I will catch up with you in a second. Hello, it is quite a bit later and we're back where we started. I'm gonna do these roller curls and close out the vlog but as you can tell my hair is washed and just air dried so it has a bit of a wave or a curl to it and now I'm adding my homemade spray that I'm using in an old Mori uh, bag or no what is this a spray bottle it's late I'm trying to get myself together uh, but there's just rosemary oil in here a little bit of uh, almond oil and then the rest is distilled water and a little bit of rose hips so I'm just going to spray it in the ends just to add some dampness back to it I try not to spray the oil in my dry hair but I think it's so diluted it wouldn't really make a difference and I'm going to show you how I do with these roller curls because they're really easy the kids are sleeping that's why I'm being silent so I will try and volume up but Millie is also sleeping so I don't really have a chance to go up and get my robe uh, thing so I'm using a silk robe sash and we'll see how this goes but I just put it in my hair like this I don't have a clip either so we're just gonna attempt to balance you will see see okay and then this side will go in a little hair curl like this. You could definitely get those things that like actually are made for this, but I'm too cheap. I know they're like $10, but I'm still, I'm just using what I have. So I take this big piece of my hair and I keep it parted like this. I'm not a center part girl. I've tried, I'm just, you know, I'm 33. It just it wasn't part of our generation. We did the deep side part. So I feel like I've come this far and I can't, I can't go any farther, you know? So then I take it, I wrap it around. I grab a little bit more. 
and I just keep going back. There are so many different ways to do this, but my hair that I'm gonna grab from here, but yeah, my hair, it just works this way. It's super thick, so I just grab from each side and like I said, go from there. But yeah, you can have some heatless curls. It's not gonna be, you know, perfect. And I don't continue doing this every single night. I know some people do it every night, but it really bothers me um, sleep-wise, so I don't really like to do it every night. Um, I'm just particular about the way I sleep and how my hair is and everything. I like things uh, covering my ears because, never shared this before, if you didn't think I was a little strange, now you might. Um, I have a deep like fear of insects and things crawling in my ears at night uh, because I watched a horror movie and I've never fully recovered. So I like to have my ears covered with my hair. I know that sounds crazy, but tell me your deepest, darkest fear if you, feel comfortable. I want to hear it out there because I probably have the same fear, which is probably why I have so much anxiety. Thank goodness for happy juice. But yeah, I'm just going to put this in and you will see this is a silk wrap. So this thing's going to unravel here, but it's going to get those loose curls that I like. But yeah, yeah this is not that bad, but postpartum hair in full effect, really humbling. You know, but in the spirit of keeping it real, I'm going to do this side and I'll catch up with you in a second. So yes, now I'm at this point and because we co-sleep, I don't like having these um, just out and about. You never know what could happen or maybe that's just me having anxiety. So I either like to tie them together in the back or sometimes I keep twisting and I twist. Oh man, I, I twisted the wrong way. Well... Yeah, um, so sometimes I keep twisting and I just go up with it and you can kind of get it to the point where it's laying flat. I feel like men watching on the channel are like, oh my gosh, what do these girls do? But yeah, this is, this is what we do. But yeah, then you bring this one up, then you <laughs> then you just take it and and you tie it in the back and look like this so yeah that's how it goes this is how my hair usually looks if I am not heat curling it but we're gonna go for this tonight and yeah call it good so thanks for hanging out with me i'm gonna jump off the camera real fast because i look ridiculous but i will catch you on the next one thanks for being here bye